The enhanced custom grid tool in AutoCAD architecture supports orthogonal and radial grid layouts. In orthogonal grids, it allows for different grid line spacing on opposite sides, as well as secondary label formatting. You may also preset the location for grid bubbles. Let's review this tool. The custom grid will be overall 80 feet 0 inches long along the x-axis and 88 feet 0 inches along the y-axis with some internal grid lines that do not fully extend across the grid. On the Home tab Build panel, I'll pick the Enhanced Custom Grid tool to open the Column Grid dialog box. At the top are radio buttons for rectangular or radial layout. Below that are four tabs, top, bottom, left, and right. Select the tab for the grid creation side, then from the left pick preset base sizes, or pick the dashes in the base size column to enter your own distances. Remember, the top and bottom, or x-axis grid lines, are created from left to right, while the left and right, or y-axis grid lines, are created from top to bottom. There are three tools above the Preset Distances column. Edit Table Value allows you to change the preset values, and there are tools to import and export to XML files. On the top tab, I'll pick the 20-foot 0-inch preset four times. Selecting the bottom tab, I'll pick the 30-foot preset, then the 20-foot preset. You may change the type parameters from primary to a secondary label. The secondary label format is configured on the lower left. On the left tab, I'll pick the 30-foot preset, and in the base size dashes below that, I'll pick and enter 8 feet 0 inches. On the right tab, I'll pick the 20-foot preset, then the base size dashes, and enter 28 feet 0 inches, then the 20-foot preset two more times. On the bottom left is an option to generate bubbles and check marks for both sides. It is easier to delete than to create a label, so I'll check all the boxes and erase the ones I don't need later. There are sections for skip characters, X and Y labeling. I want the Y labels in a descending order, so picking the drop-down arrow, I'll select Custom to open the Custom Label dialog box. I'll ensure the top to bottom radio button is selected and pick OK. Picking the Advanced Settings button opens the Advanced Settings dialog box. There are three-dimensional variables you may adjust. Grid lines will also have end grips for adjusting their lengths. I'll change the C grid end spacing value to 25 feet and pick OK. The bubble button opens the Select Label Style dialog box, allowing you to select the grid bubble multi-view block you wish to use. I'll pick OK, then pick OK again to generate the custom grid. At the Specify Insertion Point prompt, I'll pick a point and then press Enter for a zero-degree rotation angle, then right-click and pick Enter to end the command. You may now erase the labels you don't need, or grip edit and change the grid line lengths.